right, uh, late start today. I got a nice motel there in Joshua Tree. And hung out there for a bit. And took care of some things. It was raining last night. Um, so I decided my feet had been wet all day from starting the day in the mud puddle. So I decided that I would grab a hotel. I, w I had uh, it was a motel. I had uh, a bunch of different uh, plans all at the same time trying to go see Hobo Bill, who's not too far from here, but a little bit east. Would have added a couple hours on my way. I could have gone and camped with him. That would have been awesome, but I was soaked and my feet were soaked. I was still pretty dry and warm, uh, other than my feet. But uh, in the end, I decided to not go out of my way and just I drove through Joshua Tree and it was such a cool little town I thought I gotta I gotta stay here check it out went down to the Joshua Tree Saloon and had some uh, buffalo wings so glad I stayed got to chat with some cool people and more than one of them was like, oh, you got to drive through the park. Uh, the gentleman that owns the motel was like, you got to drive through the park. It's, uh, it's amazing. It'll save you a little bit of time, uh, but it cost me, cost me, it's going to cost a few bucks to get through. And I'm not hanging out, I'm just going to drive through it. So that's what we're going to do right now. Uh, you can already see it's pretty freaking cool out here. Like the rocks, the landscape is just out of this world. At least it's out of my world. I'll tell you that right now. And it looks like the road is going to be phenomenal. The weather's perfect. 18, 19 degrees. Uh. Yeah, go. Cool. Pretty happy. Pretty happy. You gotta go with the flow. And this is where the flow is gonna go. I'm excited today because I will cross the border into Mexico. It has taken me longer to get down here than I originally planned. It's the, money. the funny part is, when I say I originally planned, I actually don't have much of a plan, so it's pretty hard to uh, pretty hard for things to take longer than planned when you don't plan them to take any set amount of time. So. But I've not really experienced it, so I couldn't understand. You can't understand it until you get down here. And the interesting thing about uh, riding through Joshua Tree, or at least my decision to ride through Joshua Tree, is that more than a couple locals told me I have to do it. Uh, and they come here to go to Joshua Tree because it's awesome. So, it kind of tells you, to me, that's a litmus test. Like, you know, they're not, they're not just pointing me to the touristy thing because I'm a tourist and, you know, they live here so they see this, this stuff all day long. They don't, they don't care. Uh, it was clear to me that they they were excited uh, to be 
me and Joshua Creek. Um, and they live not far from here at all. So they're like, yeah, we're going to Joshua Tree and check it out tomorrow. It's the weekend. So, or to hang out like they do often. No. Okay, don't Okay, thank you. Hello. Do you have a pass? No, I gotta I have to buy one. Okay. I had more than one person tell me I need to come, so I was like, I'll pay the money. Thank you, you have a nice day. Not that I want to blitz it and miss, miss everything, but this is an incredible road. So last night, well, yesterday, you'll definitely see this in the video, uh, I dropped this pig in the mud and I tried to lift it three or four times with all the gear on it. And I have all my tools the top case now so the top case and full tank of fuel the top case and my camera bag was on there the first time I tried to lift it all of that probably weighed the top case and the camera bag easily easily 75 pounds uh, full tank of fuel you know it's a 30 liter tank so that's 60 pounds and all that needed to come, like, I needed to lift that basically dead weight straight up, and I killed my back. Like, I could barely move. I could sit down, and it didn't seem to hurt. I got up after dinner, and I, I almost couldn't walk back to the motel for two blocks. And uh, I put, I got these sticky pads, sticky uh, pain relief pad at the dollar store before I left and put them in my first aid, first aid kit and I stuck those on my back and uh, it did the trick like I feel 100% uh, better from the way I did last night so that's a little tip good thing to have takes up no space in your kit and I can honestly say it really saved the day. Because this would not be anywhere near as enjoyable if I wasn't able to move. This is unreal. It looks like a garden. Like but it can't be staged. This Rock formation.
a falcon up there. Oh, so cool.